Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Rudy Page, and I'm really pleased this evening. We've got Emily Lewis and Ruben Warron, and they're going to be talking about the Black Awards. Good evening, both. How are you? Okay, there was a bit of a delay there, so we're sitting here waiting for it. Um, good evening, Rudy. Thank you for having us. Um, really excited to be here with you today. Great, great, great. Awesome, awesome evening. We're looking forward to great things. Yeah, so whenever there's a delay, keep going. That's what I always say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, so Emily, Ruben, tell us a bit, before we get into the Black Awards, tell a bit. Tell us a bit about yourselves, your family background, you know, what business are you in, you know, what do you do? Okay, so I'll start and then I'll hand over to Ruben for you. Um, so as you introduced me already, my name is Emily Lewis and I started off as a counsellor. Um, I did my training um, through the BACP and became qualified. So I started off running my own private practice and it grew. So I just accumulated client after client after client to the point where I wasn't able to safely, let's say, manage all the clients. And one way I found of expanding was by um, becoming an organization rather than an individual. And I started taking on students, first of all, um, counseling students. So they would come and do their hours and take on um, clients as well which then expanded to because of the work that we were doing and the main ethos of my organization was to I guess make sure that services like this was accessible to all um, so we provide a tiered service where we have some clients who um, I guess receive the service for free and then we have those who are paying who can afford to pay and so on but the way in which it works it balances out so our main um, structure was about helping the community, the BIPOC community, because as you probably realize, Rudy, um, people in our culture don't normally access services like counseling. And this is because of the disparity that's there, you know, the, the yeah. stigma that's there as well. There's a cultural stigma and so on. Um, but cut a long story short, it grew. Um, we now have qualified therapists, qualified facilitators who we do workshops and training with. Um, qualified mentors which a minute um, and we're now global so we were at our busiest through the pandemic because obviously everyone's mental health was on the rise through that time but we were able to facilitate the services via online so it's just grown from strength to strength and now we don't only um, commit to our community we commit to everybody. So anyone who wants the services comes to us and gets the service or the treatment that they need. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, I can tell them the name of the organization. Who are you? <laughs> Good evening to each and everyone. I am Ruben Warren, the CEO and founder of Black Mentors That Matter. Um, we work very closely in conjunction with each other. They, organization which Emily Lewis is um, CEO of and founder of is iPhone Me Counseling. We um, got together a while back now uh, and um, we, we, we thought within ourselves that having a mentoring program and a counseling program um, running side by side like a system brother company that um, clients can get quite quite a lot of benefits from both. Um, we used to do the separate counseling, separate uh, mentoring, but we find that a lot of clients, um, especially now, and as Emily mentioned before, in the pandemic with the, um, the stress of mental health, they they wanted both services. So we've, we we took a bold move to decide to join the services together, and amazingly, it's been working picture perfect Good since. Thing, yeah. I've um, during the pandemic, I've actually been to Barbados, um, did a, a small clip on um, CBC News, Barbados, pertaining to mental health and how we see mental health here. Oh, uh, we want to know how they view it in Barbados, what the issues are, how we can help them earn it out coming from a different um, angle. And it's been working, you know. Um, I 
started out as a mentor. Hey, wait a while ago, if I may say. Born and bred, raised in Barbados. Um, awesome family. We was a very rich family, but the parents made it happen. You know, made it happen to the point where we grow. We understand the concepts of life. Respect was the major aspect that was instilled in us. Um, show your elders respect. Show anybody respect. What you give is what you get. You understand? And, and make sure that if you have it and you can help, put in your 100%. Um, I've been through quite a few situations where um, we lost quite a few loved ones. There wasn't much help around um, as in places to turn to. So hence the reason that I had this big drive to do something about it. Yeah. Also, this is, is in conjunction with a lot of black males. Black males don't like to talk. So part of my saying is we need to get them to talk, yeah. you know? For, for the black community pertaining into it, I want to see the black community rise immaculately and, and a space that we can we can begin to understand the space. You know, we now have <laughs> we now have so much different orders. Uh, the, the team is massive. Yeah. The team is over 30 strong. So coming from that, coming from that aspect, when we join the, 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 these two unions together, yeah. which only are, the almighty would know what to come out of it. Which I must commend you for, because um, one of the challenges that we do have in our community is uh, what's important is technical expertise, but the cultural understanding. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, so the more people from our community get involved in the provision of services, then that will contribute to the reduction in inequality. So what you're doing is really important. And also from another standpoint, it's the collaboration that's important mm -hmm. um, because that's how we're going to have a much better impact. It's important to work as a cluster because mm -hmm. then you, know, you can get involved in you know, in wider sort of uh, service provision, which is really important. So that, that's, that's really good to hear. So I'm pleased to hear that. So let's talk about the Black Awards now. So, Emily, tell us the Black Awards. First of all, B L A C. What does that stand for? What was the purpose? Really, what I was really the love what it stands for. It stands for Bright Lights Award Ceremony. And when I was first told that, when I was first introduced to the Black Awards, I was like, okay, okay, Bright Lights, like, what does that stand for? And it's about shining a light on people who are not normally seen. It's about giving them the opportunity to be rewarded with the work that they do. Um, because often we see awards on TV, you know, we see awards all the time where it's these celebrities or these yeah. well-known people who are receiving these awards for work that they've done and not to knock it, but they're in positions in order to be able to facilitate but, those roles. Do you get what I mean? It's good to recognize the unseen, the unsung. Yeah. Because again, there are a lot of people in our community that contribute to the collective responsibility and well-being of the community. Definitely. So if there's any kind of uh, platform that's going to recognize those people, I think it's really important. Yeah, because they have categories such as overcoming adversity, they have categories for parents, you know, they have categories for um, grassroots organizations or organizations that haven't even taken off yet that are just ideas. Um, and they're giving awards to these people, they're being recognized and seen. And I think it's so important because you have people with a good heart who have put in all the work, they've put in all the struggle. And then because they're not recognized, it can lead to them just stopping and giving up and not and not going yeah, any further. Absolutely. And sometimes, again, that's why I think it's important. We do need new ideas, new approaches, because yeah. life's changing all the time. And so I think, uh, as you say, if we give people a platform and the recognition, yeah. that, that, that could yeah. more resources from other people, seeing that's great work, what can I do to assist? Yeah, that, that extra recognition there pushes... Yeah pushes people so far. 
uh, that's I mean, what we need. When, when, when you're building platforms and, and, and people uh, are seen to be recognized, they, we, we tend to think they're putting even 100% more. Yeah, exactly. Because it's not just about the recognition, it's about they're, 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 whatever they're doing is being valued. And they know that it is accepted in the community and needed in the community, hence the reason. Absolutely. We, we have tremendous resources already in our community, and it's how best we make use of those resources. So again, to a, a, a platform like this highlighting those aspects of the community are good because again, it contributes to the cultural esteem and the pride of the community. Oh yeah. Because again, it's demonstrating to our own selves that there are people who give and support and expect nothing in return. Yeah. Yep. Oh, so that's really important. So, um, so when and where is it taking place? Well, if I if if I'm to jump in and, 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 answer, and answer this one, it's actually it's actually being uh, being held at the Decorum Banqueting Hall. This is located in Wood Green, okay. um, on the Haringey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, for people out there who would like to um, get involved or are probably um, source tickets, the location the um, postcode. N twenty two six U H, and that 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 literally starts around six p.m. in the evening, concludes about two a.m. in the morning. An absolutely brilliant, brilliant ceremony, not to be missed. And remember, you, you know, as they always say, miss it and blame yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> so, is, is there a website or telephone number? Yeah. So the website is www. Um, B L A C dot org www.blac.org right that's quite straightforward enough yeah mm -hmm. nice and easy isn't it Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what, what, one other thing i should add though and, and just in case that um we get the wrong um the wrong date involved is actually on the 28th of october 2023 so occasion yeah so it's 28th of october be there yes 2023 but this year looking forward to it all right so i'll just say that again because we had a slight jump on the line 20 no so it's saturday the 28th of october 2023 beautiful at the decorium wood green harringay n22 <laughs> Website www.blac.org. Yep. Right. Before the both of you go, you're both two very inspiring individuals. I'm going to ask you one question each. Okay. What is your message for our community? Ooh, that's a good question. My message would be always remember to be yourself and to love yourself. Um, mm -hmm. Community is, is about communication. So I always say, I always make a point that in any situation, communication is key. So if you wanna be seen, if you wanna be heard, if you want to learn about your community, have a conversation. Don't be afraid to step out and speak to people and have your voice because I think it's so important. It's, it's, of course, it does include listening as well as talking, doesn't it? Yes, right. definitely. I was just about to say, you know, my, mess, my message basically to the community would be, don't be shy. Right. If you need to know, you need to ask. Mm -hmm. And go out there, find areas and places where you can source the relevant information, the relevant help that you need. Listen, none of us, can say that we know it all or we can do it all. We need that help. We need that extra push. We need that extra information. And once we can source the information and have areas and spaces that we can source that information, I guarantee you the help will be there. Yeah, we, we work um, tirelessly um, day and night to make sure that the people that need help get the help they need. We try all different sorts of ways of getting to people, trying to make sure that their mental status is as stable as possible, 
keep them focused, remind them of the love that we have for people. And because the love that we have for people shows in us, it resonates in them. Excellent. And I, I really like that thought message. Yes, be a one. Be yeah. a one people. Yeah. Love is the key. And what we say in, in mental health, the, the best outcomes are achieved when people are treated with love, compassion, and with humanity. Definitely. Definitely. Can I just say one more thing about the Black Awards? Absolutely. I just feel, I just want to... Um, congratulate them first of all on running for how many years so far now and okay. this is the third one that we're attending um but also thank you for providing the space when when we when we have attended each time it's been so inspirational watching these people achieve watching them being commended for what the work they do it's amazing the amount of people that they bring together it's also a brilliant space for agencies and organizations like ourselves to communicate to each other, network, network yeah. and work together to build our community. It's just so fantastic for work. I, 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 I am very greedy because I want to add the last piece. <laughs> <laughs> while, you, while you're on the topic of um, Black Awards, I want to also reach out and congratulate and thank the Royal Air Force. You know, for um, uh, major, major sponsors as well, um, Bedfordshire Police, um, Women of Color in Policing. These these people have sat down, put their heads together, okay. bring together such a massive award ceremony to highlight people who are not normally highlighted. And I think that's commendable. Right, great. I think that's commendable. So hip hip to these guys. No, that's great. And I hopefully as well, maybe after the ceremony we'll have a number of them could come online and we could have a dialogue with them it would be amazing about their work it so would be amazing I'll, I'll leave you guys to organize that we no will, there's <laughs> never a problem never a problem right so you yeah. ask and we bring it <laughs> all right all right sir. thank you very well, much. thank you very much it was amazing having a conversation with you have an awesome evening god bless yeah thank you very much ruby thanks for your time bless Thank you and good night all. Good night to you all.